Welcome to the library. Within this video, I will give you a tour of the library website and then show you how to perform a search within a database for a scholarly article. The library website, a place to access all of your information needs. Our first stop on the library website tour is the library catalog. Within the library catalog, you will locate a variety of materials, in particular, books and ebooks. There are two ways to access the library catalog. The first way is located under the Quick Search area, and the second way is located under the Find Info column. You can just type in what you are searching for within the search bar, or click on the Advanced Search to narrow your search to specifically what you are searching for. You will retrieve items in the catalog based on your search. You can either search through all of the items or filter out all of the items you don't want. For instance, if you only want ebooks on your topic, then just place a check mark next to the ebook. Now, you don't have to search through a multitude of items that aren't relevant to your needs. We also have a section on the library website intended just for ebooks. Within the ebook section, you will find many ebook databases. You may read them online or download them for future use. All of the ebooks are full text and are accessible 24/7 so these are really great to use for your online work. This is a list of all the ebook databases that we have listed on the library website. You can search through any of these databases to find ebooks. The next area of the library website that you will use extensively for your research papers is the database section. Within the databases you will find articles, scholarly and popular, news articles and book reviews. I want to note that one big difference between books and scholarly articles is that books typically contain more general information about a topic, where scholarly articles focus more on specific aspects about a topic. They usually contain original and or new advances in thought within the field. Just like the library catalog, there are two modes of access for databases. The first way is to click on the Find an Article tab, and then click on the databases you want to search within. The second way is to click on the databases that's found underneath the Find Info tab, then click on your preferred database. I will come back to the database section of the library website in a little bit to show you how to search the databases for scholarly articles. For now, we will just continue on with our library website tour. Shown here is a list of all of the databases that we have on the library website. We have a variety of different types of databases, so whatever your topic, we have a database that is right for your research. Please note all of the databases with check marks next to them as they are the best databases to use for this religion course. Sometimes you may need credible information from a reputable website. If so, click on the Recommended Website section. From there, you will see topics containing compiled lists of credible websites. For this course, Click on the Religion, Theology, and Values link. LibGuides are a great source to use for your research as they contain many valuable resources all relating to a specific topic. Just click on LibGuides, then click on the Library Subject Research Guides tab. From there, click on the Religion and Theology Research Guide link. This LibGuide is a great tool to use for a starting point for your religion research. If you need a book or article sent to you, just go ahead and complete an interlibrary loan form. This includes books and articles that the library owns, as well as books and articles that we don't own that we could get from other libraries. Are you the type of person who needs to see the steps on how to do something? If so, check out the Help video section. We created, and continue to create, short learning videos on everything from searching specific databases to formatting papers and everything in between. And finally, the last stop on our library tour is the Writing and Research Support section. Click on this link to locate information on how to format your papers, use correct citations, or to set up an appointment with one of our writing instructors. I will now show you how to narrow a search within the ProQuest database. In order to get to the ProQuest database, you will first need to log on to the library website at stleolibrary.net, and then Click on the Databases link. From there, just scroll down until you find ProQuest, and then click on it. 
Once in ProQuest, go ahead and click on Advanced Search. That way, you'll be able to narrow down your search with greater ease. To show you how to narrow a search, I will use the topic, Explain how canon law perceives annulment of marriage. First, you must locate the main concepts within your topic, which are canon law, marriage, and annulment. Then, you place the concepts individually within the search boxes. You might notice that I place quotation marks around canon law. When you have more than one word and you want to keep them together, such as canon law, put quotation marks around them to search them as a phrase. Before hitting search, make sure to limit your results to full text and peer-reviewed, also known as scholarly articles. And then click search. From there, you can scroll down to see if any of the articles fit your needs, and then click on the title to open it up. You can then read through the abstract, and if that's what you want, go ahead and click on the full text PDF, and it will open up the full article so that you can read it. If you do not see any articles that fit your needs and you want to look for more, or if you want to go ahead and narrow down further by searching additional terms, go ahead and just click Modify Search. Don't be afraid to modify your searches. You can try searching by similar keywords, searching for phrases within the articles and then applying them to a new search, or by searching a completely different database altogether. So now you know your way around the library website, as well as how to narrow down your search. If you have any questions at all, please contact me or the Reference Desk and we can help you with any of the issues that you have. Have a great day!